So, to me, blockchain is the second era of the internet. For 40 years, we've had an internet of information. That's what the internet is about, right? Information. But if I send you some information, a document, a photograph, I'm actually sending you a copy. And that works well for information. But when it comes to things of value, which can include information, but assets, things owned by people that have value, things like money, stocks and bonds, contracts, deeds, the data in our identities, intellectual property, cultural assets like art or music, or a vote, a vote is an asset, something of value that belongs to somebody. When it comes to assets, copying them is not a good idea, right? You don't want someone copying your vote or your identity. So how do we communicate and do business with assets? Well, we trust intermediaries, right? Banks, credit card companies, social media companies, stock exchanges, escrow agents, hundreds of middlemen that enable us to do business and to trust each other with assets. In 2008, a person that no one knows who it is, named Satoshi Nakamoto, invented a currency where people could transmit and transact with money without a bank, peer to peer. And this set off a revolution. And this was the biggest innovation in computer science in a generation, in my view. Now, Bitcoin was just the beginning, though. There's, because we saw the rise of the underlying technology, blockchain, Bitcoin was to the internet of value, like email was to the internet of information. Bitcoin was just the first app. But now, we have general purpose blockchains that enable businesses and people to build any app, not just a currency.